Hello everyone! Thank you for tuning in. David A. Qua here, uh, filming from uh, Pearland, Texas. And I'm here with Titus. This is my weekly Sunday vlog for, what's the day? Like the, the August 20th, 2017? Alright, here. Say bye, Titus. Alright, oh, I'll just let you go. Do, do whatever you want to go. So, this is the usual vlog stuff. I'll tell you guys what movies I've been watching, video games I've been playing, what events I've been, uh, you know, attending, and if I eat in any new restaurants and stuff like that, and there's a Sunday vlog, okay? Uh, I want to show you, like, a, a haul video first of some of the things I bought recently, you know, from various stores around the area and stuff like that, right? We got a couple of DVDs here. We got DC Superhero Girls Intergalactic Games. It's an original movie from DC, you know. I watched the first one of this. There was a, a, another movie before this one. I do have it. Um, I forgot what it was about, anyway. But anyway, uh, this one's about intergalactic games. It kind of reminds me of um, Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter, or something like Hunger, Hunger Games or something like that, you know? But I, I haven't actually watched it yet. There is a, a music video and a, some, some featurettes here. All right, there it is. DC Superhero Girls. Uh, they're funny, man. Batgirl vs. Supergirl. New Beginnings. Hero of the Month, Supergirl. Dude, where's my invisible jet? <laughs> so here, let's see what's inside looks like. There. Got the disc. It's got a Batgirl on it. Pretty cool. All right. So I'll watch this eventually. I also got Power Rangers. That's right. I see the, I saw this movie in theaters already. Uh, I even talked about it in the video already and stuff like that. Got the DVD. No special features though. Nostalgia has never felt so more phenomenal. <laughs> but uh, $5.99 for Power Rangers. You know, th this movie just came out on DVD not too long ago. So I I'm glad to see there's still already $5.99. Um, I'll probably pick up Alien Covenant. Later this week, uh, Riverdale season one actually came out on DVD this past week. Also, what else came out recently? There's, there's a bunch of DVD that I, I would like to watch. You know, The Adventures of Young Indiana Jones is volume one, the early years. All right. Um, how many discs is in here? Anyway, I got volume one and volume two now. I just need to buy volume three. If I see it for cheap, like I would say cheap would be like fifteen bucks. Four, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. This set. Holy crap! Look at that. Yeah. Tons of special features. Tons of episodes. Right. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Interactive bonus discs. Interactive timelines. Easter Rising, let's see, Thomas Edison, yeah, in the, in the show, Indiana Jones actually uh, meet up with a bunch of uh, historical figures and stuff like that, so, yeah, looking forward to watching it. I never actually watched the Young Indiana Jones. I had Volume 2 for the longest time, I never watched it, because I wanted Volume 1, and I saw Volume 1, how much did I get this for, like, $10? And I was like, yeah, sure, so, I also got here, there's a store here in, um, Houston, Texas, called Bedrock Comics, um, uh, so, so I've been going there, and they have, like, loose action figures and stuff. So I got The Undertaker, right? Got The Undertaker and Wonder Woman. Pretty cool. All right. I also got United States Champion Kids Belt. All right? I got a bunch of these kids belts, right? But I, I may actually do a collection of these uh, WWE kids belts. So here it is, United States Champion, right? I also have World Heavyweight, right? The big gold one. I got the uh, the 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 John Cena one. <laughs> that's 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 who I connected with. I always see John Cena holding this. Don't forget it's World Championship, all right? And I got two of these. This one is like the normal ones that are part of this particular series. And I got this one from uh, WWE Slam Crate, right? Loot Crate does this thing where they uh, have for WWE and they have for anime and stuff like that also. So I got this one. It's a fanny pack. It's got pockets and all that stuff in there, right? So I'm going to do like a WWE belt collection in the future. I mean, these are just the kids' belts. It's not like the big 
$100 ones, you know, $200 ones or something like that. That's it. But yeah, where did I eat this past week? Um, Chipotle, went to McDonald's, went to CeCe's Pizza. Oh, we had a place called NAM, uh, N-A-M. It's uh, Noodles and More. <laughs> That's what it stands for, Noodles and More. So I had like, uh, my dad had um, uh, rice with some um, like beef or something like that. And then uh, my mom, my sister, and my uh, brother-in-law had uh, like noodles. And I had uh, I had lo mein. I had chicken lo mein. So it's all right place, but uh, that's like one of the places here in, in Pearland, Texas, that uh, we ate at recently. And it's from the same people who made the Kim Sun restaurant, which is in Bel Air in Texas, the, like, the, like the Chinatown, right? Um, I haven't really been playing much video games. Like I've been so busy with the move and stuff like that. You know, I've, I've been trying like, unboxing boxes and. You know, I, I just had like a second trip. We, we drove a 26-foot U-Haul. It, it's like driving on ice. I mean, that's, that thing is so hard to control. Unless you're going like 30 miles per hour. Like, that's a, that's a very hard to control truck. But we, we finally got down here, right? Um, everything seems safe. All the glass and all the TVs and stuff. We had no scratches whatsoever, thank God, right? So, uh... Yeah, we're here, and you know my parents are packing right, right outside and stuff like that. And I, I, I'm trying to unpack my stuff too. Like, I got my TV and some desks over here. I got, I got the wooden shelf here, the white, the white shelf, the white bookshelf that I had in my room uh, back in Wichita, and my computer desk still has not made it here. And, and we're wondering if that it will even, it'll even, even happen. You know, maybe I'll just have to give that up. You know, just have to buy a different one, but I love that desk. I can't find one that's better deal than that that one. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I didn't watch any of this thing. Um, I would like to do a Q and A. It's been a while since we've done that, huh? So why don't you guys go ahead and comment, and we'll start the Q and A thing again. I, I picked out like five questions that I picked down like the most recent, like the past twenty videos or something like that, and I was gonna read them off. Okay, so OG Anarchy. Are you going to miss Kansas? Yes, I will, you know? Well, I, I miss um, Wichita from, like, the older years, you know? Back when Joyland was around, the Disney store was there, you know, back when the Village Flea Market, you know, they, they recently closed, and that, that's kind of sad, too, you know? Um, oh, I hear they're going to make a Freddy, Freddy uh, Frozen Custard here in uh, Pearland, Texas, so I'm very excited about that, you know? Like, uh, uh, Freddy's uh, Steakhouse... Burgers, you know, they it's from Wichita. They originally originally from from Wichita, so it's nice going to see one back here in in, in Texas. You know, it's pretty cool. Uh, an OG Anarchy apparently wants to let me know that uh, he used to live in Kansas, but he moved to Florida. So, well, good luck with you there. All right, D F F B F F F. Here's the username. Okay. He asked me, hey David, I just recently bought a PSP. Can you tell me some of your favorite non-violent games? Uh, they do have um, Angry Birds on the PSP. Now it's a little different, it's not touch screen, but uh, that, that's only one of the games that I, I would have to choose for you to play. You know, There's a bunch of RPGs and stuff like that that are like, not, not necessarily violent, but you can actually play them, you know? Uh, they're not too bad. It's a bunch of side-scrolling games, too, that you can probably play also. But it's been a while since I've played PSP. When I do play PSP, I play things like, you know, the Call of Duties and, like, the Final Fantasies and stuff like that. You know, like, like games that have violence in them. And mostly, let's think, let's think about this, you know. If you're playing video games, chances are there's going to be some type of violence. There's going to be like, fighting enemies or something like that, you know. Besides that, you can play, like... FIFA, or like, there's like a basketball game and stuff like that. Mercenary202. Hey David, did you just, did you finish Just Cause 2 on uh, Xbox 360? Um, which is the, the system that I have it for. Uh, I have not completed it. I played like two sessions at two sittings. And um, that was it. I, I, I didn't finish anymore. Because I, I just recently played Just Cause 3, like before I played Just Cause 2. And, um... It was like pretty much the same thing, you know, with less good graphics. So 
I will play it someday, though. I would like to play it. It's like a ton of trophies. And, it's, and the, the Just Cause games are actually kind of easy for me. It's really grindy, you know? It's like, and I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's, uh, what you're supposed to do is very straightforward, right? Your, your goal, your objectives, they're very straightforward to do, all right? You know what you're, what you're supposed to do, but it's kind of time consuming to do it, you know? Uh, random Gamer Professional, right? Asks, where do you, I live in Texas? Perlin, all right? It's like 30 minutes south of, of um, Houston, Texas. And uh, a lot of people pronounce it differently. It's say pearl instead of pears. But I saw a billboard and it has like pears on it. You know, pearlin.com and there's like a pear. You know, the fruit. So I'm, I'm pronouncing it as pear, not pearl. Okay. Pearlin. Um, Texas Gaming and More. This, I think this is the last question, by the way. Nope. This is the second to last question. Hey, Dave. Has Aldine ISD... Uh, independent school district contacted you yet because they need teachers um because i live here in Pearland, i don't want to apply for a job in the aldine i believe that's how you pronounce it i don't know it's aldine or aldine but um uh, it's gonna be like an hour drive every day if i do apply for a job there so i'm trying to apply for schools a lot more closer okay but they were on my radar but I, I, I just want, I don't want to go to work every day, you know, a, a one hour drive, you know what I mean? We got Cassie. Cassie. Can you do a Lame Before Time collection and who's your favorite Lame Before Time character? Mine is Sarah, okay. Um, there is a collection, I saw it at Walmart already for like $30. Like all, I don't know how many movies there are, like 12 or 13 Lame Before Time movies. I've only seen like the first like four or something like that. But, um, yeah, uh, 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 I would like to get that box set, you know, and watch some of, of the of the later Lemon Four Times. And they have, a, they have a TV series. I think you can get the TV series on DVD now, too. I think it, is, it, it does exist. There is a, a DVD set of the TV series. I watched, like, two episodes of the TV series when I was, like, a little kid. Um, my favorite character is probably, like, Petrie. You know, the, the one, oh, my God, you know. He's kind of like, the, he's always flipping out and stuff like that. Uh, Spike, you know, the he's um, he's kind of like the uh, the muscle of the group, you know what I mean, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, I I miss Lame Before Time, man. I, I used to watch uh, the first movie a lot. The first movie I watched a lot when 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 they had Chomper. Oh, I, Chomper's probably one of my favorite characters. He doesn't show up in every single movie though, but he's he's a great. He's like the T Rex, you know. He's a T Rex uh, character, and I I, I love the T Rex, you know. Um. But I like that, that main group that's in, like, there in every single movie. Uh, probably like uh, Petrie or Spike. Right. Anyway, I think I guess that's all we have to say for this week. Where are we on time? Like, I can do like a quick, uh, quick walk around the room a little bit. So that hasn't changed. But the bed now has a headboard. We brought that from Kansas. No longer a desk. I, I, I like this better. I like this setup. But there's, not, there's like nothing there. I'll put the rest of my stuff, like the Blu-ray player and the Xbox 360 in there. But now I'm just playing PS4 and watching DVDs, okay? I'm really, really happy this is here. So, we'll see where that goes. Uh, I, don't, I think we're just going to put it right there, like right next to it. Maybe move this one over and have some room, like another uh, nightstand, like one of these, over there also. We'll see. And I just need to clear up all this junk, right? and uh, replace it with actual media, disc or something. All right, so that's about it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Recommend my favorite and subscribe. Talk to you guys later.